ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another episode of hawthorne springs look at the views the views the views gotta love it this is where we're building today no blueprint for today we're gonna get straight into the action on today's episode we are dialing in the uptown this is episode number 20 and continuation of last episode if you didn't check out last episode we built the stadium district um the allegiant stadium based off of las vegas nevada and today's episode we're doing the surrounding area we're gonna add some retail fix some highways a bunch of things that we have going on so sit back relax and enjoy the episode okay so welcome all of the newcomers welcome all of the binge watchers let's talk about what we're doing today so we're dialing in uptown and right now i'm i'm doing a lot of placement i do this from time to time i place down a lot of like different random things random buildings and then um try to see if they fit and then go from there so right now you're watching me and this is going to be the focus of actually next episode but i did want to include it so you can get a preference a preface can't even say that word. I think that's the word, right? You can get an idea. <laughs> How about that? Of what's to come. So what we're running into is our, our, our street mall, downtown mall has to continue all the way down and it has to cross this highway. So, and I almost forgot about it, right? Cause the mall is so long in city skylines aspects. It's insanely long. Like, I don't know if there's a build that I've done where you've had a property or a point of entrance that that literally would be like 25 city blocks and in city skylines a city block realistically at scale would be like you know double that maybe 40 40 city blocks so it lines up it's realistic but that's the thing I think that when dialing in different builds for me i gotta just be conscious of scale right that's a city skylines like number one thing if you play this game be conscious of the scale of everything and how everything works so but that's what we're what we were we were focusing on there and now we're moving on upgrading some of the roads around the area i want to go with this one road scan it looks good it, it screams hawthorne springs to me and the traffic lights are are good so we upgraded the roads and now we're going to build like this little open park area with some bougie boutique type shops and then behind those shops we're going to dial in some parking uh, for this area specifically uh just planning the city out in this this uptown stadium district region um there just needs to be a lot of parking right so if you want to park there's no parking around the stadium at all it's not allowed so these would be you know the outskirts this is where you park to go to the game and just like in urban centers right like and again i use denver always as a an example but denver's denver's football stadium for the broncos i think at the time of this video it's called empower field or empower stadium they have just parking around the stadium but denver's baseball stadium Coors field has parking in the city right so you have meter parking they actually have parking lots as well in the back but that's kind of the 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 details behind what i am trying to bring forward so just really dialing in all of the parking and then we want points of interest so really tall office buildings, hotels, things like that. That's the goal in this area. And just dialing in, putting the details forth, um, dialing in the area around it. Yeah, that's the goal. So let's talk about last episode. Last episode was fun, uh, dialing in that stadium district. And we're gonna read some of your comments and questions from last episode, I'm pull those up. And then we have a great live portion uh, for you guys to sit back and enjoy to we're going to go over kind of what we built i like doing this let me know if you guys are enjoying that specifically but right now we're going to put down uh, our hotel district and i'm having some elevation issues not issues but i have to choose like do i want this all to be one flat level and then transition up 
outside of the downtown district or not. We're, we're kind of struggling with that in between just because when I go elevation, it, it gives it character. So check out the screenshots and you guys saw the opening shot with all the things detailed. So really having elevation, having things taller or shorter than uh, another really bodes well when it comes to the end uh, of these builds and showing screenshots and all that fun stuff. So uh, let's get into your comments, questions, concerns on last episode. Uh, thank you guys again for commenting. Comments are up. You guys have been showing out again. I got to I got to figure out my drop days uh, again. When I have time, I can't commit to a schedule. So when I have time, I'll post uh, this week. Hopefully we'll post a little bit more. Uh, I have Cranberry County, like an update episode and yeah, I'm working a lot on my uh, second channel and we're going to actually start doing different games. So I'm going to start promoting that a little bit more. Uh, it's called Gaming Candy. So check that out if you like uh, Grand Theft Auto, things like that. And I'll, again, I'll promote it when we do other games. I'm looking at some really fun games. Uh, Euro Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator, House Flipper. Uh, I might do some Planet Zoo over there. I might do Planet Coaster over there as well. So be on the lookout for that channel specifically. And we're gonna reboot it, it's gonna be awesome. Gaming Candy 2.0. All right, let's get into your comments, questions. Uh, Kai, big OG candy farmer. Thank you so much, Kai, for supporting the channel. Uh, Kai says, oh yeah, my football team name suggestion is the Hawthorne Plagues. Kai, the Hawthorne Plagues, really? Okay. I don't really... The Hawthorne Plagues. Wow. I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, Kai, you have to tell me. I'm, I'm replying to you right now. You have to tell me why the Hawthorne Plagues. How about that? All right. Next comment comes from Bones Billy. Bones Billy says, I swear, if I get a computer, I'm getting the better version of City Skylines, LOL, so I can do stuff like this. Bones Billy, you should grab a new computer. Preferably one with a lot of RAM and a decent processor and a decent graphics card, honestly. But you could probably get a computer for like, I'd say five to 800 bucks and a decent, you know, get a, get a pretty decent monitor and experience it like this. I am of the extreme example, me and all the City Skylines video creators, we're extreme. So I don't necessarily like recommend doing what I do. Like just to give you, just to give you an example, I run everything that I run, right? So assets and mods, I think this series currently, and just all of you that just watch my videos for the hashtag views, shout out to you. All of you people that watch cause you play this game, check this out. The, when I load into this game, it takes five minutes to load. That's number one. Just to give you uh, an example, my vanilla series, Hill Valley, takes less than 30 seconds to load, right? I have the best computer that you can buy with the exception of the new uh, 3000 graphic uh, card series from NVIDIA that, that came out in the last few weeks. But I have like the best graphics card. I have 32, I have more than 32. I think I have like 64 gigabytes of RAM the best graphics card, more hard drive space than I need. And I, and, and literally when I load into the game, I have like over 10,000 assets, 10,000 over 120 mods active. So I, I say all that not to brag, but just to run this game, the, the investment's crazy and I record it 4k. So even to record it, is insane. Like I'm playing this game right now at 15% of the simulation speed, right? Just to make it feasible to get this footage. So again, it's it's a little bit overkill. I say all that to say you don't need this. You don't need to play in 4K. You don't need to buy a crazy computer. You can have a decent computer, get a few mods, get, you know, a couple hundred assets and you'll be good. You'll be good and you'll have so much fun. I've played this game since growing, man, this game's old. So I've played this game and I used to play on a Mac, but I played, I've been playing this game since it came out and I've never, you know, like what I have now is awesome, but 
I never had to have like anything crazy. So you guys should go out and get something. Go out and get a computer. It's worth it. Even if you have console, you can do a version of this, right? Again, get a cool map, get some trees, all that fun stuff, and you'll be well on your way. Okay, next comment, and then we're gonna transition to uh, the live portion. We might get a couple more in, but I'm just going down the right, uh, going down the, the down the list here. So the next comment's from Luis Felipe Fran, Fran, Franco. Franco. Uh, they say, dude, I think it's the first time I got your channel recommended to me, but this was a pretty great build. Keep up and good luck with the channel growth. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's, it's cool to see YouTube suggesting this bad boy out to people. And my response, I know I, I vented a little bit last episode of the algorithms just hating me. My response, honestly, is just to put out more content and be a lot more consistent as I have been in the past. So I'm kind of making a pact to do that at, at all costs. <laughs> So, you know, it's it's fun. You get the you you kind of leverage, right? Sometimes you have seasons where I won't be crazy on uh and we'll do like, you know, like the last month or so where we had at least one episode a week. Uh but that was it. That was all in, in life that I could sustain. So uh hopefully in this season we can have a few more per week and and just try to finish a lot of these projects specifically. So uh really quick, I want to reference what's going on on the screen right now. So here's a cool crossroads. So we have that right site built up and that's our retail area. Right here, I wanna do like a little river walk below the stadium district and then it will connect to the left side on the screen now, if you're looking, it will connect over to a brand new residential district and, or excuse me, residential area. But this whole district will be considered the stadium district, right? So again, we're dialing in the off ramp for the official stadium district. This off ramp and interchange is insane. The amount of traffic that just spawns and you got to think about it too. This is such a faster way than going through the city. And that's why it was strategic to build specifically this highway, this sunken highway to service this stadium district. And you got to think about it too. If you look back, this the, the highway services Old Town, it services, um, so yeah, the Old Town District and then the Arts District is what we called it. And then you had Central Park that it services as well on the back end. And it's not even the sunken highway that services that. It's the main highway that comes into the city. So I thought it was pretty pretty cool to see, you know, like the, the continuation of the highway being utilized. And now just transportation is coming, man. It's 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 being optimized just by these builds because... Once we get buses in here, once we dial in the light rail, it's going to be fun. You're going to have a lot of connections that you can go in and out from. So it's going to be awesome. Let's get one more question in really quick before we transition to the live. Uh, Cassie Finky says, I'm just here for the 10K face reveal. 2,470 to go. We can do it. Thank you so much, Cassie. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm doing the face reveal. It's funny because I actually have another channel where I show my face and it, it could or it, it, it might be active very soon. So be on the lookout for that. Gaming Candy. I might show my face on Gaming Candy too. So that's a little hack. Go check out that channel if you're interested. Uh, check it out in like a week though when I have some good stuff on there. Uh, last. Okay. We can squeeze one more in. Uh, I can see my little playhead about the transition. Uh, last comments from Wandering Souls. They say, dude, you deserve more subs. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, subscribe, Wandering Souls. Hopefully you are. <laughs> all right, so we're dialing in this little part and then we're gonna go over everything, all the details from a ground level perspective. I know you guys like looking at that. So uh, let's transition to the live portion uh, and let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I would love to know even what I should build next. So we're gonna finish Uptown, but there's, there's other things that I'm looking from you guys on what to build. All right, let's transition now. All right, live portion, this marvel at what we built. Let's go over it really quick. Uh, hopefully it won't take too much time. Just like a little overview. So again, I'm not having my trees at a super high render distance. So you guys should be able to get some pretty decent frames. Let me turn this up real quick. Yeah, we should be able to get some decent frames in the city. So yeah, this is the result. Today we built just an overview. We dialed in 
the more the stadium district. So that would be this over this, or uh, this over this way. Uh, some condos here, this retail development here, more retail in this area. So next episode, just as a little preview, we're gonna actually finish the street mall that rides all the way here, right? So it's all the way on that street, it goes all the way down. Next episode, we'll finish that, add some more retail, add some more housing, add some more businesses and all that fun stuff. So real quick, we'll go to the ground. Let's start off over by uh, the mall area. So that's what we built as well. Let's start over here. All right, I'm gonna pause it for a little bit just so we can kind of maneuver and drive down the street here. All right, so as you guys know, this is the classic mall, right? We won't go over that, but you guys know all about the mall. And okay, so really quick, we, and I probably talked about this in live portion, but there's this new like road tree situation that I just love. Like we're gonna use this all down the mall, all the way down the mall. And then there will be a nice bus line that just drives up and down the street. So uh, be on the lookout specifically for that. Um, I wish these streets were one way, but we're gonna disable most of the traffic on them anyway, so you can't really drive on it. Just look at this view, y'all. Doesn't that just look amazing? Gotta get a quick screenshot for the gram, for the Instagram. If you guys are up on Instagram, make sure you check out my page. Uh, I post screenshots there at least every day. And then when I have a little break, I take like a week off and then compile some more and post, post, post. So you have the beginning of the mall district, just again, all the retail. And then let's actually go behind here. Boom. So yeah, you have this back part. So this is one of the big things that we built this week. And of course you got some trucks, some delivery trucks, the Best Buy trucks, the Walmart trucks. That looks so funny. It looks like these are animated too, which is pretty cool. I like that. But this is the backside of all those stores, right? So if you were to go straight through these, they should be the exact same store on both sides, right? So. That's a cool touch, cool appeal. Uh, but just walking down here, you see just the views, man. Like this looks awesome. Classic downtown city, tall buildings, retail, retail, retail. Like when I wanted to create this series, this is what I pictured, right? A bunch of just retail development everywhere. Outdoor shops, outdoor malls. We even have an indoor on the mall. I love it. Yeah, this middle part, you have like this awesome um, water fountain. It's not functional, right? I think it actually might be. No, it doesn't look like it's working. Uh, that'd be cool to have a functional water fountain. I'll work on that. But yeah, yeah, this awesome mall, got some some banner ads. Doesn't that look just, oh man. There's The views in here are awesome. Oh, I just took a screenshot. Let me wait for the Best Buy truck to get to where it's going. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love how, it, I mean, it's, I need to disable deliveries, but who knows how functional that would actually be, right? So uh, continuing down, just look at that. Awesome, tall hotels, man, those look great. And then little details like this, right? So you kind of have a point here. Uh, that's another hotel up there in the distance. And so if we were to go through all here, all of this right here, this would actually be the highway, right? This is the sunken highway that we uh, worked on a little bit. I don't know how much I actually showed of that, but there's a sunken highway. And then on the back side here, you have like the parking lot. So it's like a paid parking for that retail district that we were just at. So, and then you have all these parking garages as well that are also paid. So that's the, the goal, right? The goal is if you're going to the, the pavilion mall, you park in these parking garages here. Uh, but this side, right? Ooh, look at these flowers. That looks awesome. Nice little touch. But if you're going here, again, people are driving on it now, but if you're going here, you would park back here and in these garages, right? So, all right, let's continue down this street. You have a little bit more of some old town vibes here. Maybe some stores that existed beforehand. Maybe we like gentrified this. And the story is we took all of the uh, land and remade it into a strip mall or an actual mall and put some parking here. So this is just a cool little touch, right? Like you have like a an old school appeal in the upper downtown district. So it kind of gives it some character. And then you drive down here. I have to work on this area. I'm dealing with some terrain 
So I don't know if it wants to be high or low. I haven't decided yet and how I'm going to detail that. But nonetheless, it looks pretty cool. So you have your kind of like your hotel row. You have your Hilton here and this awesome entrance to your Hilton. And then you have your Marriott. Again, that's the elevation that I was talking about. Um, I got to work on it just because the elevation in this city is kind of kind of interesting. I should have checked before, but you have your courtyard Marriott attached to that. If we go back this way. Um, you have like a Four Seasons. I don't know what these buildings are, but they look really cool. Maybe an office building up top or up down below. And then up top is officer or, or some residential. Uh, some more tall buildings, like a super tall office building right there. Looks super cool. Going down the street here. And then super common. So you guys saw this last episode. This is our stadium district. Um, oh, I do want to show you the back of this Marriott. So yeah, the Marriott got the Starbucks and then we're going to go through here. And then we have this awesome like oasis pool in the downtown. Maybe we do like a, a spot where we have resorts, right? That would actually be a really cool, cool thing. I'm going to write that on our infamous whiteboard that all the hashtag candy fam knows about. So I'm putting that on the whiteboard. That's a cool yeah, we should do that, like a whole resort tour area, kind of like we did for Palm Island uh, on the, on some of the different mountains. And downtown Palm Island, we had some resorts, but pretty cool. You have a swimming pool here. Uh, just looks awesome. Then you have uh, the stadium that we built last episode. Just looks super good right there. Like, look at that screenshot, right? And soon to come, probably in the next few episodes, we'll, we'll dial in our light rail line. But yeah, the light rail line that travels all the way down here. And then we'll start on this side here. Uh, again, you have some highway interchange. You know, that's going to start getting nuts and insane busy. Um, and we did a couple of things on the other side. I'll go over it a little bit with y'all uh, at the end there. And I'll do it uh, not in first person, but this is one of my favorite parts. So you have this whole street and this whole street is just residential. So it's hustling and bustling, right? Because this will transition this way over to some high density residential, kind of matching this. So this is where we're going to start getting our condos down and start building some some neighborhoods, going to start getting some row houses, some colonial houses. That's where this kind of starts. And we're kind of we're not done with density, but it's going to kind of start moving towards like a medium density type uh, build here. So now you have a transition over to this like cool neighborhood. You have shops on the bottom. And then you have like these super fancy high end like re, uh, residential buildings. Like this would be a really cool place to live too. I'm not gonna lie. So that spans all the way down, and then we're gonna actually go behind, so you guys can see the, uh, the one of the cool features. Got a random tree in the way. Gotta love it. So this right here would be a cool building, and then we're adjacent. We're still in the stadium district. This is still considered stadium district. Look at that building. That's a really cool asset. I don't know who came up with that, but that's awesome. But now in the stadium district, we have this cool water feature. Uh, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. Maybe do like a couple steps so you can come down into the water. Um, I was thinking about doing like some rocks or something. We'll detail that probably off camera, but I'm going to work on that a little bit. Stay tuned. Uh, but you have this awesome walkway. Uh, you have that kind of Seattle needle at the top there. So that'd be cool to like go up on and get a view of the city. That would be awesome. But yeah, you can bike here. Just like a really pretty area. Again, you have the stadium here, big old mascot to your left, but and you get cars driving through, gotta love it. Um, but yeah, and then you come over to this really cool office building. This office building is just super, it's such a good model. So you have this whole office park. Let's go straight through here. Guys, look at the frames. Frames are insane. In this big old city, I have this, this level of frames. It's insane, it's awesome. Okay, so this is like the backside of, of the city. Again, that office building, it just looks so cool. Look at that. And you have that Seattle needle. I think it's called the needle. Let me know down below if I got that right or wrong. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go inside in the other way, but you have cool office buildings. You have the Horizon office building there. And then again, it just mirrors the, the upscale residential like on the other side. Um, we have this really cool asset by King Leno. It's like a shopping plaza mall for the Lux, Luxron, Luxron I think. Uh, it's a casino in Vegas, and that turned out awesome. And then you have some parking garages, got a US bank, and then a cool building. I don't know what building, I think this might be the cathedral. That looks like a cool building. We're gonna detail that up. Um, but yeah, then you're back over to 
the other side of that residential that we were just at, or excuse me, that, that commercial that we were just at with all of the parking. So there you go. And then we have one more spot. I'm doing it this way. I know like you're like, why did he pass up all this? I'm doing this way on purpose. You had these huge parking garages. So this is where the majority of people would park uh, for all this stuff downtown. Uh, so we just need, I, I noticed there's a lot of people parking on the street and we just needed a lot of parking. So uh, this is one of my favorite areas actually. This is like a cool, super cool. I mean, it dips down, so there's that. We got to fix it, but just having the little statue. So I got to fix the elevation, but this building just looks cool. Like that's just a cool building, a cool piece of property. And look how tall that building is. Super downtown vibes, right? So let's go around it here. Again, we're dealing with super fun. Oh, look at this guy. They're parking. They're parking. Gotta love it. Uh, we're dealing with some elevation things on this block specifically, so uh, that's why everything's a little wonky, but okay. So this is where we started. We pivoted right. Now we're going to go left, and now we have one of my favorite parts of this build, and it would have been a little bit earlier when we built this. Hopefully, I pointed it out, but look at this. Oh, and you got a tree. You got, you got cars coming in here. Got to love it. But you have this awesome asset by King Leno. I've used this literally everywhere. I've used it in Prez's. Um, Columbia City, when I was able to do a guest build there in his mall, I use that inside. I've used this in Cranberry County outside of the Cranberry Speedway. And finally, it makes a debut in Hawthorne Springs. So it's just this really cool mall asset, outdoor mall asset where uh, people can come and they have like realistic shops. Like it just looks awesome, super functional too. And people actually use it. So it looks super dope outdoor mall right next to your stadium right so this whole stadium district is coming alive you have like a little city a little town outside of the stadium just looks awesome and then you have some upscale shops here uh, dang look at these shops y'all and this archway looks super dope i don't know if i'm keeping it it kind of works now but like that's a screenshot right there right that's a vibe that's a view without the freaking thing going in there <laughs> I will I will literally restrict traffic as soon as we're done doing this overlay because this is making me upset. Uh, we have a Las Haciendas right there. Get some some Hispanic Mexican food. Uh, you got this cool building that has like the little display up top. And then this cool walkway. This is the front part to that mall. So that look at that upscale mall. Uh, you have the needle up top. You have that awesome cool looking office building. So all that really was to get the vibes on this side. So on this side, you have retail, retail, retail on the other side and these houses as well. On the other side, you have houses. So again, let's do a little bit quick overview. Um, so yeah, that's that's what we built today. We have the buildings, retail on this side, um, excuse me, retail on this side, residential on that side. So it turned out awesome. We had some traffic building up, gotta love it. Uh, these highways are super weird the way they switch lanes and change lanes and all that. So we're going to have to do some major traffic management uh, on this highway so they can stop doing crazy stuff like that. But I'm glad to see people are utilizing the highway now. Like, that's cool. That means that they're jumping on at different spots and really coming all the way in from the city at all points uh, to get on the highway. So, man, this city's coming together, y'all. Look at this. So look where we're at now. We have officially began and almost ended the stadium district and if you remember stadium district right here it's a part of the uptown which will fill in all of this and once we're done with the uptown we're going to move over i think we're going to move over to either this area here or this area up here and we're going to build some like compton style housing and then uh we're going to build university airport um prison district all that fun stuff eventually come out this way and built like some small cities here we already got the highway dialed in i gotta get the mod in where it spawns some traffic but look at that you kind of have the city on the horizon looks cool doesn't it i like the views when you're like way over here dang look at our frames guys just to have this amount of frames is just nuts so actually let's let's do a little ride in why not let's do a little ride in see if we can get one of these cars to do a ride in let's make it like super fast here cool Awesome. So let's do a little ride in. You guys can see the city from a district. Look like this guy's going all the way in. So uh, it's going to be awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching the latest episode of Hawthorne Springs. I'm having so much fun with this series, y'all. Like, 
I literally love sitting down and building. So um, Hill Valley is going to be coming back, making an appearance, hopefully in the next week or so. So if you play vanilla on console, make sure to check that out specifically. That series is for y'all. And Cranberry County is struggling along, chucking, chucking, chucking along. Uh, we have probably 10 to 15 more episodes before we wrap up that series. So I have some really cool, fun things uh, that I'm planning uh, in anticipation for that. So thank you guys so much. We're going to ride out a little bit to uh, the views. Look at the city in the distance, y'all. Doesn't that look amazing? It is, it's grown so much. It's Man, look at all that. Man, this is cool. Give me the vibes, man. We do need to dial in uh, some transportation very, very soon. Uh, I think we're there. We're, we're close. We're close to being there to get some transportation in here. So we need buses, trams, all that fun stuff. It's coming. Uh, light rail. It's definitely coming. All right. I'm ended here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>